So what about the, uh, the presenter who has an expectation from a boss or a colleague that they just present all of their work on a slide, a lot of text, because not doing that suggests that they haven't put in the work. Yes. Now, if you know, they come to you and they say, that's my challenge, what do you recommend to them? See, presentations are larger than life, okay? So if uh, I, I, I will step to a little different direction and come back to where you are. Okay. okay. First of all, uh, if you have a 20-page Word document which has got one typo or spelling error, it may not be noticeable. But if you have one spelling mistake and the title of your presentation is noticeable to the whole world and it advertises your ignorance and you don't want that to happen. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people know that, and the reverse is also true. Since presentations are larger than life, whatever good happens on the slide it also gets magnified. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. So, since, since this behavior, since this uh, characteristic about presentations being larger than life, a lot of people like to go and use their presentation slides as a way to impress someone else. Mm -hmm. As you said, going and doing to that boss. Why would you do that? Because they think if the boss is impressed, it's going to advance their career. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we have to think now is we have to stop trying to impress. We just have to be ourselves, okay? And if uh, you have to also respect the boss time, okay, boss has a time. And if you're really worried that the boss may have many questions and that those are not addressed on the slide and may think that you have not done your homework and you're not correct with everything that's over there. So you have to look into other concepts. So uh, when, when, when I'm faced with a situation like this and I consult and I tell everybody, for every presentation that you create, you're not creating one presentation, you're actually creating two presentations. One is a presentation that you want to show and the second is a presentation that they want to see. Okay, mm -hmm. so the presentation that they want to see is the one you create, and that's a smaller subset, which has got only the, all the important stuff. And the larger stuff, if you still need to keep them, go ahead and keep them. Keep them in hidden slides that are linked. Keep them in Excel sheets that are linked as required from invisible links, hidden links, whatever you need. So only if there's a question, you are prepared for that at that point of time. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so you going to value that time and keep a concise basic set of slides, okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is uh, going to address the requirement for your presentation, the message that you want to get across to your audience, and nothing more. And for everything else, everything more, be prepared with the same presentation in a larger format, which you know where it is, like the back of your hand, so you mm -hmm. can instantly go to that sort of content. And if there's no question at that point of time on that slide, just move to the next slide. No need wasting of your time or wasting the time of your audience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but for this approach, again, it's very important to understand you have to work more. Sure. Okay. Sure, no doubt. So you have to work more so that your presentation is more effective at a lesser time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Great tips from Gitesh Bajaj from the Presentation Summit. Thanks, Gitesh. Thank you so much, Dave.